Today I want to review a paper about multi-engine reinforcement learning. The paper is multi-engine active critic for mixed correlative competitive environments. And the review will be divided in two parts. The first part is the motivation. There are significant changes in reinforcement learning for multi-engine case. For example, if you use Q-learning for reinforcement learning, that the policy of each engine will keep changing. This means that the environment is non-stationary, so the Q-learning method will not converge. And for policy gradient, the frequent coordination of multiple engines may introduce high training variance which is also very really hard for engine to have a good train procedure. To fix with the changes mentioned above, the author proposed a general purpose multi-engine learning algorithm. And it has four significant features. At first, the algorithm learns policy based on local information, which means that the engine only has access to local information. And the second, it does not assume a differentiable model of the environment dynamics, which, we, which means that we do not need to understand the, how the environment is changing. The third, it does also not assume any structure on the communication, on, on the communication between uh, methods. This is the training a lot because you, 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 you are and it didn't uh, consider the communication procedure from this engine to that engine, which means which is a computation computation efficient. And at last but not least, it is applicable in cooperative interaction, competitive interaction, as well as mixed cooperative competitive interaction environments. And these are three typical environments for multi-engine reinforcement in case. So the algorithm can have a, a comprehensive solution to multi-engine reinforcement learning. At first, let's come to the basic idea of this methodology. The overall procedure of this methodology is, can be categorized into X2 features. The first is decentralized. It means that the actor only has access to local information and will communicate, will interact with the environment separately. And it also means that when, when it comes to the tax procedure, the actor will, the actor will act in a centralized manner. And the other uh, significant feature is the centralized. It means that the, the critic is augmented with actual information of every engine's policy. It means that the critic will have uh, overall information of the uh, system and when it comes to the tax procedure it, it, will, uh, it will not use the critic to, uh, to further implement. Now we come to the detail of this methodology. The method considers n engines with unsure parameterized policy, which means that each engine has its own policy to uh, to learn. So, in tra traditionally, the uh, policy can be trained with the policy grading method, which has been proposed for a couple of years, is in this formula. And it should be noted that in this methodology. The Q function for each engine is uh, a little bit different from traditional policy gradient, where the Q action only takes the uh, local information as the input. In this way, in this method, the, the Q function approximator for each engine is a centralized action value function approximator, which means that it takes actions from all engines x input and it will add, it add with extra state information noted as x and each engine will learn separately for uh, uh, to learn this uh, q value function similarly 
uh, the author extend the parser gradient to determinist parser gradient in multi-engine case reinforcement learning and uh, trade uh, great the gradient or uh, to trade the policy is so as this formula which is also uh, similar to the uh, traditional reinforcement learning with one engine case and let's, let's, let's see as you can see that uh, because the central, centralized value function takes into account the action from each engine. In this way, the action of each engine is supposed to be known. So the environment is stationary, uh, even as the process keeps changing. Uh, as you can see this equation, because the, it is the action that determines the state transition. So if you, ha if you have known the action, no matter the policy exchanging or not, it, the probability of the state transition will be equal to each other. So in this way, the author uh, uh, made the environment a tra environment become station. So the train procedure will be uh, feasible. Now let's uh, have a close look to the update procedure of each engine and just 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 as mentioned before the actor update is based on the uh, policy the uh, policy for each engine itself and the centralized action value function and also updated for the engine itself and the critic and the critic is updated in this way which is similar to the deep reinforcement learning and it also updated for each engine. And here comes a question. How can engine I derive engine J's action? And uh, just as mentioned before, we, su we suppose that the Q centralized Q-value function for each engine will keep the action from each other, each other engine as the input, but how can how can the engine can derive others engines action? So to uh, fulfill this procedure, the act the actor the authors propose the policy approximation by maximizing log probability between the approximate policy and the real policy. By this formula, here the phi is the parameters for engine i to operate to approximate policy of engine j. And mu j is policy the engine i intimate engine j, which means that it uh, the the en the engine the each engine will also maintain an independent network that is responsible for uh, intimate uh, other engines policy, and then there is an age for entropy to regularize the approximate policy, so. By adding this update, it can do online update with one single step with latest policy samples from engine J. So in this way, the the each engine will uh, uh, to, will try to learn other what are, will try to in, imitate imitate what other engines do given a specific specific observation. So in this way, the and the Q centralized Q value function for each engine will uh, have a will have a uh, approximation of the action. Thank you for your attention, and and looking forward your discussion and opinions.